Got a jumping spider wondering how to keep them warm or even if you should, then this is the video for you. Hello everyone, welcome back to Spoodapods. I am David and I love inverts of all kinds. Today I am talking about heating solutions for your jumping spider. Now many of these solutions will apply to all sorts of inverts. So if you're watching this video and thinking, oh it's just about jumping spiders, don't worry, you can apply this to many other species. But most of the focus will be on jumping spiders, I have to say. And again, none of the stuff mentioned in this video will be sponsored or anything, it's just my opinions and talking about what I think works and what I think doesn't work. Now this video is actually my first requested video from a couple of people and it's really nice that the channel's just started and people are already requesting videos from me. I will always try to oblige if I can and I think it's going to be interesting to everyone. So let's get started. Now generally when you have a jumping spider most types are pretty happy at room temperature. Now when I'm talking about room temperature we're talking about between roughly 22 to 25 Celsius and that would be approximately uh, I think it's about 74 to 80 Fahrenheit. Hopefully I've got that right, we use Celsius a lot in the UK. Generally, if you're comfortable, your jumping spider will be comfortable. And most homes are kept to that sort of temperature, because obviously in the summer it's gonna be warmer, and in winter you will have the heating on. But if you keep your jumping spider elsewhere, or it's a particularly cold part of the house, then you may have to consider a heating solution. And I want to talk about the various solutions that Oh, I think aren't ideal or need to be employed carefully and also the solution we've come up with which we found works really well for our setup. So let's start with the most common heating solution that people come up with for their jumping spiders and that is a heat mat. Now heat mats if they're used properly can be okay but something you need to be very aware of with a heat mat is you do not want to put it under your jumping spider's enclosure. That will cause all sorts of issues such as the soil drying out very quickly drying the atmosphere, making humidity just skyrocket, causing bug problems, and also potentially damaging it. Um, a lot of people use them in this way, and they do run into problems. The best way to use a heat mat is either to put it to the side or behind the enclosure. That will generally be much more effective, especially if you allow some distance for some insulation between your enclosure and the heat mat. Now, another thing you need to be very aware of with heat mat is get a reputable brand, give it a test, because there's a lot out there, that have bad issues. If you go on Amazon, you will see these issues in the comments and reviews saying they've caught on fire, they just don't work, or other less um, ideal situations. So again, if you want to use a heat mat, put it to the side or behind and allow some distance from your spider's enclosure. Now this solution is probably the most common sense one, but not everyone may be able to do it, especially if the spider's kept elsewhere, or you don't have that much money purely because it's a cost of living crisis going on. And that is just, Heating the room, you know, if you have loads of jumping spiders, lots of people with big collections do this, or if they have other animals, for example, we have parrots, so we like to maintain a higher temperature because they're more comfortable in that too. You want to use your central heating or bring in a space heater to maintain the temperature in the room, and this is probably the most effective way, probably not the most cost effective way, but is the best way to ensure your spider is not gravitating to one area and is generally comfortable in their enclosure. This was a solution that me and my partner were considering for tank and other jumping spiders and that was just basically getting a traditional like lamp basically and the lamp generates some heat it's got a traditional bulb in it but it also solves the lighting problems because jumping spiders do benefit from extra light so they can hunt their prey and generally enjoy their enclosure get some enrichment because they've got such an awesome sense of sight basically. So if you do have like a traditional lamp with a nice warm bulb, you can use that to boost up the heat. As long as again, it's not right next to that enclosure and you allow some distance, it could be an effective solution. One other thing that's really important is that having little temperature sensors is very helpful because it will allow you to keep an eye on what the temperature is like around their enclosure and you can monitor it and adjust the various factors. Now something else we don't really recommend is a heat lamp. Now some people do use them, especially if they use them outside the enclosure, but it is really not advisable to have a heat lamp or put it in your jumping spider's enclosure. It can lead to all sorts of problems such as drying, um, just decreasing the humidity or even harming your jumping spider. So if you have a heat lamp, I'd probably recommend not using it and going for one of the other options in this video or just keeping it at some distance. It's not very cost effective energy wise. They tend to be more suitable for reptiles. That's where they're generally used. And even if you have a big tarantula, it's not really recommended for them anymore. The sort of information has changed since what people used to recommend for them. Now finally, this is a solution that me and my partner came up with purely because we do keep the temperature quite high for our parrots and our own, our own benefit. But we noticed in the area where tank is located, it does get a little bit cold because it's kind of in a corner of a room near an exterior wall. So 
this is more for like later in the evening or overnight so it stays nice and warm and that's something called a snuggle safe and a snuggle safe is something that's normally used for dogs and cats to keep them warm in their little dens or lairs and all it is is it's a microwave or heat pad with some cushioning over it and you pop it in the microwave I think it's about seven minutes and then that will retain heat for almost the entire day it's very cost effective the actual initial purchase isn't that very expensive i'll leave a link to the product in my amazon store a direct link and a link to my amazon store so you can have a look at it yourself and get the equivalent wherever you are in the world of all the options for supplementing the heat for your jumping spider i would probably recommend this because this is the one we use and we find it very effective both in cost in energy and also in keeping him comfortable without increasing the heat too much it basically increases the heat in the area by approximately three to four degrees and if it's going only getting down to about 20 when it gets cold because we've obviously got the internal temperature monitored it boosts it up to the sort of level it needs to be in it we've noticed he's more active he enjoys being in it uh, sorry being in it being near it and he doesn't all spend all of his time near it as well because one of the other problems with some other dedicated heat sources that are quite extreme is your spider will gravitate towards them and they'll hang around there and they won't move with this at least it will cool down and it will sort of facilitate them moving around the enclosure so if you are considering a cost effective heating solution for your spider one of these just outside their enclosure could be a really good bet for you so guys that's it that brings me to the end of the video i hope you found the information useful if you do like my content please like comment subscribe it helps the channel i want to produce loads more content for you if you have any uh, comments specifically about this or any other topics you'd like me to see me cover happy to oblige but in the meantime take care and see you later